Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, this is a pilgrim and welcome to the refinery. Um, we've got production and crafting on this side and these cryopods, food and barracks on the other side. Uh, I'll have a quick run around and just show you the whole interior. Uh, I wanted this place to look like it had been built like for the really harsh conditions in the wastelands and I was thinking of like a Mad Max water world idea when I was building. So I left most of the build unpainted because that rusted steel just looked perfect for the, for the idea. Uh, I used all vanilla structures, no clips active, and I up the platform structure limit. Uh, for that you can just go to the menu, um, up it to about 50. There's no mods involved, so it should be good um, on single player, you know, to build this for consoles. I am going to build one for PC, all modded though, so I can use S Plus and have um, Indie Forges on board, because that was the, the idea, I, you know, at the beginning of it. Um, I hit the too far away from platform limit on the sides and the height, so that's as big as the place can get. Uh, on this platform uh, you can build actually below the wing I used some pillars and built out over the front and then down below the main wing but if you demolish one thing like if you remove a ceiling or a pillar the whole lot collapses right the way back up to where the sort of glowing intakes are on the front so that's probably not advisable uh, the whole build came together really well I like all the small rooms and the, the cramped compartments for storage and things like that uh, the central circle looks pretty well built but the place becomes a bit more ramshackle towards the side so it's kind of like the titan builds i was doing i was thinking on the lines of like a tribe construction the place all the time so there was no like real plans for it uh, like i said i really wanted to have some indie forges in there but i'll just put the extra forges in for now until i uh, build one out of s plus got the tech replicator on board though so that sort of covers all your production and everything this is uh, the central area um, there's not a ton of decor in here, I was sort of wondering what to do to fill the place up But the cryopods now, I could have had like a gacha in here or, you know, get some more other creatures I had a go with a taxidermy just messing about there um, The new artifacts look amazing, They're really the graphics on them are great This is just like an observation point really, I mean you're looking straight out across the You know, from the front of the Titan Then on this side I did all the sort of food production it's got fridges and a grill and then down there that's where you go to get underneath the base and that's all just like barracks and just extra places for the tribe to live so I've been added on later and um, there's a cryopod so you can get a bunch of dinosaurs on board keep them all safe that's another one of the new artifacts so there's plenty of room there's loads of different things you could do with it you just have to be really careful so when you're flying because I think Corrupted can still destroy metal can't they I don't know if they're going to change that they probably should do 
this is getting out onto the roof. So we've got like the mini guns around to take out any um, wyverns or anything that come after you. I just did these as like little small rooms, little living quarters everywhere. Another bit of abduction in here for bullets maybe or something like that. Extra cryopods. Like I said, there's just loads of different little rooms because when I was building the different levels and like getting the ramps and the doors in so you could access everything, everything sort of came together bit by bit. This is a proper sort of barracks area. Plenty of places to respawn and stuff. And everything's on board there to build, you know, armor and repair things. Um, if you're going out after the other Titans, maybe it'd be something you could build, to get it down into the um, the forested area if you're going after the forest titan should be pretty safe down there again it's one of them builds where you're probably better but once you do start traveling to have a few people on uh, waverings and snow owls and stuff to sort of take out any dinosaurs that get close but I kept forgetting with the with these new titans they only last a day don't they so even on unofficial servers if you change the settings for feed titan i don't think it works with these guys so you're kind of stuck on single player so having the whole try by day is probably not really plausible but hopefully there'll be some mods out or um there'll be a setting you can change so you can have them you know permanent on on or at least unofficial anyway now i'm underneath the place now this is like all built just underneath the platform hanging down i uh, attached it to them to front um, pillars you could see coming down there and then built out uh, back underneath it. Cool, more barracks and then we'll just have a quick run to the other side. But with them big sort of steps here and that central bit where you get in, it looks, got like a bit of an old mansion sort of look. Did this as like a canteen. You can go and grab some food, uh, sort of officers' quarters. Now, I just did these like cooking pots on the outside, so got places to just go and chill out. Loads of balconies and stuff again. So, building the place is fine when it's but sort of coming to do all the decor and everything for it. And I'm sort of like constantly thinking, like, what's this room gonna be? What's this room gonna be? And then trying to fill it out. That's why I get lazy when I've got all the mods to play with. There we go, the refinery. Actually, I really like the look of it, man. It just works so well. And it does look really cool. I've got a bunch of footage from when I was building it, like, right from the beginning. Um, I've chopped some of it up and made a little bit of a how-to-build video. Um, if anyone's interested in seeing that, leave a comment and I'll, I'll put it together into something proper. Um, just so you can see how it went together, I suppose. I just thought I'd do this video as, like, a bit of a tour and just show you around, really. show you it flying i've got all my snow owls on board um because some of the places are built are what it does like little landing pads and with the dino doors at either side you've got a place to come in and drop your food off and a place to drop all your metal and scrap and you know all your building production stuff off so i just wanted you to see it like with the creatures on this is before i painted it up see like the, the sort of the going up and down and, and going through the graphics going through the metal but they don't fall off the only way you can get them to fall off is say like if you were flying past one of these buildings um, and you flew the actual structure through it, it would push all the dinosaurs off so you've got to be careful doing that. But with the size of the thing, you know, you try not to clip the wings through stuff anyway so you probably shouldn't hit anything. You can see the owls bouncing around. That's why where, where the cryopods come in really handy because you don't really even need a dino doors now. You know, to get creatures inside and keep them safe. go just chilling out and flying through i think um i sort of kept the architecture of it kind of similar to what what you're seeing around in the city with all the different sloped angles and different bits sticking out everywhere but yeah i did very much enjoy building this one it's worked out really well I'm happy with it i think when it comes down to it, it really is just another sort of concept build you know just a, a, a cool idea something that could be done if you're really into your building it'd be a 
no, a good little project to get on with. Something interesting to build. I have to wait for Ark 2 and see what they do. <laughs> they might let us all fly around on Titans with big bases. Uh, yeah, like I said, if a few people ask about how it was built and stuff on here or on Facebook, uh, I've got footage so I can throw a quick video together, show you how it was built. Uh, Ice Titan next, I'll see what I can build on that. And then I'll probably go back through them all and just keep on building on them for a while because I've got tons of ideas for them. Um, these videos are always pretty popular. Yeah, so uh, if you get a chance, go and check out the rest of the channel because I've been building on the Titanosaurs and stuff for ages now. Um, there's been loads of builds um, for that that have gone down pretty well that I've done. Uh, other than that, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Um, and thank you for watching. Catch you later, guys.